It's all time, welcome back to Persona War Golden. Uh, hi there. <laughs> Where the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that. So I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. Have you calmed down? I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They. They say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for serious. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow. I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, Maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. And I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Something like that. Anything I can do to help? If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Of course he can. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best. Kanji Tatsumi join at your group. He definitely be a strong asset in solving the case.
Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? We're still calling it that? Wh what's that? Come on, let's go. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. Ah, oh, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, 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 is he beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi, and he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you dipshits? <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? We still don't know. I guess it's too early to say if we're wrong about that one. But that announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? You took the paper on Kanji. There are several lists. Which one will you read out loud? Female Akkonsur ranking. My Miyamano is ranked to lower middle of the list. Does this mean she wasn't that well known until the incident? It's just this guy's personal rankings, nothing important. What does the next one say? I hear her album sales have gone up since the incident. If she knows about it and she's using it to sell her songs, that's pretty sketchy. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. What are these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki-senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, but that only matters to you. It's just a thought, but was that the day Saki-senpai was interviewed on TV? Yeah, I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? When did that interview air? I think it was when I was absent from school, um... It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. 
And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... The date! Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways. Let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me! The school campout's next week! I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun! Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yo! Mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh... We're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What? Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey. Why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. It, it's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped, too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like... That means you came out to everyone, too? Th that's uh... What was it like for Senpai... <clears throat> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. More... gentle? What a pair of dimwits. Oh yeah! Here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? It, it looks perfect on you. Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. 
Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that! <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, oh, my sides! This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> All right, next hey. we some time with Toshima. Ah. Hmm. I heard something in the to station the other day about well, I heard you guys hang out at Tsunes pretty often. Nothing wrong with that, of course. The question is. Why do you make so many trips to and from the electronic department? Dad. Or uh, this isn't what you think. It's not fair, you are always talking with Big Bro. What? I mean, today you are home, but... I always talk with you. When is always. I wanna talk. It's bedtime for you already. Go to sleep. I'll play with you next time. You promise it. Man. Ben is always harm. Not good with kids. No. It's not that. I mean, I'm bad with kids, but that's not the problem. Truth is, I mostly left raising her up to my wife, her mother, so I don't really know how to approach her. Plus, I'm not fit to be her family. Fit or not, you are family. Hmm. Maybe you are right. You think just being related by blood makes you family? That's not the case. Sorry. Oh, sorry. You didn't need to hear about that. Night. Get some sleep. Night. Oh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Why are you so excited about that? That's right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school camp out is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass. That's slave labor. Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents! I'm warning you, if you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. <sighs> this gets worse and worse. I thought it was gonna be fun. It's only for one night and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. 
so you can swim in the river. Hey Narukami, did you know this week is health week? And you are not part of a student health? Uh, in other words, you are lazy bum. I hate lazy good but not think it's like you. So I'm signing you up to take the place of sick member. Uh, That's not fair. Quite you. I don't know what's cool, like for you, big city kids, but here is every student study to pitch in. Don't tell me you're not enough of a man to do something this easy. Fine, I'll do it. I see, I see, then go straight to the infirmary. They should be expecting you since I already told them to do it. Thank me. Um, good luck. I'm Konishi, a first year. You know Saki Konishi, I'm her brother. You are friends with Hanamura, right? I hate him, and you too. Can I go home now? No, help me clean. I have to help out at home. It's a mess, you understand, right? You can go up to your help. Okay, I do the shelves. Can you hand me a rag? Next we do a bit of fishing.
Talent Spin. heard when they're sitting in back of you it's like a squeeze play come on you know what I mean sorry I got ahead of myself what I mean is I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle they press right up against your back thicker than I thought. Anyway, I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget, but at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much seeing as how we're investigating the case? What's up, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip, you guys busy right now? Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, a bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up-close-and-personal? What does that mean? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then... And then... A girlfriend. Now that's my partner. All right, then. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up-close-and-personal plan really starts. Up close and personal. Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We gotta to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. What, fe feral zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones. Dude, that's how a perv would react. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks! I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So, partner, 
Make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Ah, you're back. Hi there. You want some meal, too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't be stupid. But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel, after all. Just eat your dinner. Y yes sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. What's the matter? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he wants one out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Right? It's criminal. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san, about some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Will you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? It's not that I doubt you, but allowing you to get one is something else. Don't give me that face. I, I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. Yo, it's me. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together.
cast on the first try. Just like we planned. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Hi. Are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Already? I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I better think of a way to convince my sister. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes! You got the okay! I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I'm letting you have it. Make sure you take good care of it. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets too, so a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Well, anyway, I was around your age when I got my license too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Good. I'll hold you to that. All right, we make our first ride around the neighborhood. And for the end of the video, we go mine down the garden. It seems to be coming along. It looks like a bumper crop. Dad, you are making that scary ways. Are you thinking about work? Oh no, sorry. I should leave that stuff behind when I'm gardening. As small as this garden is, it does take a lot of effort to keep it going. Are you regretting letting Nanako talk you into this yet? I'm glad I did this. I see cause this is one thing you don't get to do in the city. I'm having fun, I love having you and Big Pro help out. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.